Breaking developments now in the case of Shelley Luther, the Dallas salon owner who was jailed for reopening her business despite coronavirus restrictions. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has modified his orders to eliminate confinement as punishment, effectively freeing Shelley Luther. State Attorney General Ken Paxson tweeted this, the Supreme Court of Texas has ordered Shelley Luther to be released from Dallas County Jail, exclamation point. All this amid the outrage that was growing over a judge's decision to jail Luther in the first place for seven days, and he levied a $7,000 fine against her as well. Before today's news, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick had tweeted this, I'm covering the $7,000 fine she had to pay, and I volunteer to be placed under house arrest so she can go to work and feed her kids. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is with me now. Great to see you today. Good to are be you surprised with you again, at Harris. how this all kind of absolutely are you surprised at how this all kind of galvanized so much outrage against that judge? Yeah, you know, Harris, I've uh, been around the media and politics a long time, and I've seen few stories catch fire like this one. And I think it's because people understand in America that small business owners are really stressed right now. Uh, you know, everything they have, they have tied up in their business, their money and their dreams. And when that's at risk, um, they're going to fight for it. And so, first of all, this was a story of her fight. And she's been on the front line fighting uh, for a while on this, protecting her 18 employees who work for her. Secondly, so that's the big story. She's fighting. The next story is this vengeful judge sending her to jail for seven days in Dallas County while Dallas County has been basically turning uh, criminals out left and right. I mean, their DA has a standing order. If you steal anything less than $750, we won't even arrest you. So you take those two stories together, and that's caught the imagination of the American public. And the American public sees this nationally. And we see it, quite frankly, in a lot of Democrat states, Democrat counties, Democrat cities, where they're putting people in jail. This was not Governor Abbott putting her in jail. This was not me putting her in jail or Attorney General Ken Paxton. This was a local decision, and this judge, he could have fined her $50. She broke the governor's executive order fine. He could have fined her some minimal amount and let her go back mm -hmm. to work and take mm -hmm. care of her employees and her kids. So what do you say to those people, though, who are abiding by the rules, Lieutenant Governor, and saying that they're going to wait for restrictions to be lifted? I mean, everybody's hurting. And you're right, 66% sure. of the economy on average is hired by and employs workers in America, they are small businesses. So they're all hurting, and I get it. So do there need to be maybe, well, let's first get your answer to that. Yeah. Well, first of all, when I was on Fox last week, uh, when this story really started breaking nationally, I said mm -hmm. that neither the governor mm -hmm. nor myself, we don't want to send anyone to jail. The governor had originally uh, issued executive orders, and we asked for people to follow them. We trust people to follow them. And there were some uh, penalties if you didn't follow those, but we didn't want to put anyone in jail. This is left to local decision. So now he's rescinded that order so that no one can be sent to jail. Mm -hmm. No, we do want people to follow the orders. And as the attorney general said earlier today on Fox, yeah, there could have been a penalty. There could have been a small fine, $100 or $50. Um, but now mm -hmm. is not the time when people are so stressed, so stressed. Harris, I'm a small business owner. When you lose everything you've invested in a business and your life dreams, you may make some decisions that you wouldn't normally make. So she broke mm. the, the governor's order, but it didn't deserve this type of retribution from the judge. And remember, the main reason he put her in jail is he demanded she apologize to him, apologize yeah. to him. And, 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 and this judge, I think, um, uh, whether it's a, uh, you know, a people looking at his action from the bench on a recall, whether it's an election next year, I'm not going to get into the politics of that, but he's really put a focus on himself. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have to act this way. You know, there's something about being a judge. And my son was a longtime criminal judge and now a U.S. attorney. My son was a tough judge, uh, Harris, but he also knew when it was time for mercy and, and, uh, and understanding of a, of a particular case. Yeah. And this lady well, during a made a mistake, that but she didn't deserve this. Right some 33, 34 million people out of work. Um, pitching with your heart first, I think, is what you're talking about, Lieutenant Governor. Right. Uh, OK, I, right. I was what caught my eye was your willingness to sit on house uh, arrest so that this woman could go free. Uh, and that won't happen now. And now some things have changed at the very top echelons in terms of how you'll treat people who break the rules. You've acknowledged that's not an option, breaking the rules. 
um, but how you'll do it differently. But Lieutenant Governor of the great state of Texas, Dan Patrick, good to see you today. Thank you. Thank you, Harrison. She should be out now. I don't know what the judge is waiting for. She should be out already. Um, uh, there's no reason. Supreme Court has said she should be released. We'll see what this judge does. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we will follow that part of the story. Thank you for flagging that. She should be, and we'll look. Thank you again. She should be out right now. I think that was more than just telling us what's coming next. I think the lieutenant governor right there was also saying it better happen now. So we'll be on it during the commercial.